I ginger for chat. It's me, Dallas. Uh, today, our topic is: Do other people's perception of your gender identity bother you? Does it motivate you to express yourself in ways that you might not otherwise think of expressing yourself? So, I've been having a bit of a hard time with this topic this week. I'm not quite sure why it seems like it should be straightforward, but I think I've just been having a hard time thinking of concrete examples. So, we'll see how it goes. Everyone else's videos have been really great so far, so that's awesome. Uh, and I apologize that this video might be being put up a little bit later in the day than it should be, but I've had some late nights lately, so I wasn't able to, to record anything. Oh well! Anyways, um, do other people's perceptions of my gender identity affect me? Um, I have to say yes, but I think part of what makes it complicated is because I'm not exactly sure how people perceive me and perceive my gender identity for the most part. Um, what I've noticed is that if I'm like on the bus or something and I'm not talking to anyone, I often get perceived as male. I've had times where people will be having a conversation and they'll reference to me and be like, oh, he gets it, he gets it. Um, but if I am, if I start to talk, then they get confused or start perceiving me differently. Um, I don't know, I do think that the whole idea of other people perceiving me does affect the way that I kind of live my life, just in the sense of when I'm walking down the street, um, I am conscious of the fact that there are other people that are looking at me that stick out up there now, um, and that their perceptions of me are prob probably varied. Um, I don't know, I think there's also the thing that I'm a bit self-conscious of the way that I walk. I have a bit of a limp, and I don't know, I just stick out. But I try not to let other people's perceptions of like masculinity and femininity and stuff affect the way that I dress. I try to just dress the way that I like. But I definitely think that, I don't know, for example, when I was younger and I was finally able to kind of choose exactly what I wanted to wear. I dressed in all boys clothing in eggy jeans and um, yeah, very masculinely. And then when I discovered that there were emo boys, I started to wear skinny jeans and stuff because I found out that you didn't have to be female to wear that type of clothing. Um, and so, I don't know, it is frustrating because of, because I have a more, like, feminine style, um, it makes people perceive me in a way that maybe I don't, I would rather they didn't, but I'm not going to change it just to try to change their perceptions of me. Um, I don't know, it bothers me that when people get to know me, if I don't come out to them, they automatically just think that I'm female, and or a lot of people think that I'm a lesbian because they think that I'm a masculine woman, and therefore I'm a lesbian. I hate stereotypes in my Um, I don't know, it does bother me that people feed into all this stuff. But on the same time at the same time, I really think that people don't notice what other people wear and how other people present themselves that often. I think a lot of people put so much effort into looking good and looking nice for other people and then like if you start to question like, oh, what was so and so wearing today? You probably can't even remember. And that person probably put in a fair amount of time deciding what they were going to wear. I think the other aspect of this that I kind of think about is people that are actually close to me, like my dad. 
My dad has always said that he didn't think that I could be gender non-conforming or gender variant because I had too many feminine qualities, mm. in his opinion, which I don't know, the whole thing is kind of ridiculous, but he's come around. Um, and then, so, well, I also get the same thing kind of coming from, like, my trans community friends sometimes. Not a lot, because they're all generally awesome, but and it's not even that people are saying it to me, but I just often feel like people think that I'm not trans enough, which I know is, like, this whole big thing, and there's been lots of debates about it I've seen lately, and I'm sure I could rant on about that for a long time, but I feel like often people are judging my gender identity and trying to put me into boxes, and I don't know, I, try, I feel like this, this whole topic is hard for me to talk about because I try to just ignore the fact that it goes on. And that's why it's been difficult, because it's not really something that I want to think about. I don't want to think about other people judging my gender identity and ju like, and just how people perceive me. Because often I just, it's frustrating and or kind of depressing, to be honest. <sighs> so, I don't know. I'm not very impressed with the ranting that I've just done. But I think that'll be good enough for now. And I hope everyone has a good week coming up. And that if you are watching them, you enjoy the Oscars, because those are all tonight. And you will all see me on Saturday. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys.